So let's go on and talk about some some other uh, financial related uh, issues and and you know one of the first jobs that you're going or challenges you're going to have to confront when elected is the budget. Yes. And while I don't we don't know right now what we're looking at, I think last year we were about looking at I think it was around eight million deficit, it was about seven million the a couple of years back when you ran, and and a large portion of that is our pension liabilities. Obviously, there are other things, declining revenue from property tax, sales tax, etc. But that's one of the, the, the biggest challenges. And I know that over the last few years, the city manager has gone and given each department a challenge. You need to cut 5% across the board, which may not necessarily be the best thing to do. But unfortunately, the reality is services have been cut. And you mentioned that our roads, our, our roads are probably in the worst condition I've been here 13 years almost that I can remember. So how will you address those challenges? Pension reform, maintaining those city services that we talked about earlier, the park, the libraries, uh, re you know, getting our Easter explosion back on that was uh, inadvertently canceled and destroying my daughter's uh, <laughs> Easter. How will you deal with those challenges? Because they're, they're not easy. I mean, no, they're not easy. There's, there's so many needs here. How, how, what's your approach going to be to dealing with the budget? My number one priority is public safety. Police and fire. You know what? We need a great police department. Police work. We got to be safe in our community. It costs money. Our fire department, again, we got to make sure that we have the best fire department. We have, to, we have to support their budget, okay? Pension reform is the big elephant in the room. It's not gonna be an easy, quick fix overnight. This is a long-term problem that was started years ago. But what I can assure the residents is I'm gonna be fiscally responsible. And by that is working through collective bargaining with the unions, because remember, we still have a responsibility to our 1,500 city employees. I will treat them fairly. I will make sure that we pay them a fair salary based on their work, okay? Because I wanna make sure, you know what? We need our trash picked up. That's a city worker. We need our parks kept clean and safe for our children to play with. That's a city worker. Our firemen, we wanna make sure that we support them. Because remember, when you're enjoying Thanksgiving dinner, those firefighters are ready. So if there's an emergency, our police officers, our linemen, they show up within 45 to 90 minutes. These are quality of life issues that I'm gonna tackle on, but I need to be fair and work through their unions whether we like it or not, that's part of collective bargaining. It's there for a reason. But I wanna make sure that every time we give a pay raise, that I wanna know what the actuaries are gonna be for the next five to 10 years for retirements. Because every time we give a city employee a pay raise, I wanna treat them fair, okay? And if it's fair to give them a pay raise, then we're gonna give them a pay raise. But if it's not fair on the back end, then that's how we can manage pensions. And then I want to work collectively with their bargaining units as a partner and say, look, we've got new employees coming online. Let's work together to reform their pay right now for new hirees. We can't do anything legally to current existing employees. I do not want to open Pandora's box and get sued. I want to be smart on addressing pension issues. I want to make sure that when I end my tour on the city council, there'll be reform, but it's not going to happen overnight. And it's really about sitting down with the bargaining units, not when it's contract time, but before, and saying, let's look at this. How can we reduce it? Help me work to make sure I don't have to lay off employees because I can't afford it anymore. Work with me. And I believe that's the fairest way 
to treat everybody because our city employees have families. Our city employees care about our city. It's not about beating them up for their pensions, but it's about collectively working through this together. Yeah, I know two years ago when you ran the, the whole issue of bonuses and the you know secret bonuses was a big issue. It, it seems that that's no longer an issue as it was being suspended. But just for the record, you're supportive of that staying uh, suspended or eliminated, I'm assuming. I do not support bonuses. You're asking me, what am I going to do about pension reform? Bonuses add to the final average salary of our employees, okay? I cannot reform pension and then give them bonuses. It's not going to work that way. I want to be fair to everybody. I want to be fair to the residents that I'm working on pension reform. No bonuses anymore. Right. Now, one of the interesting things that, that took place over the last year or so was being the elimination of redevelopment. But we had a redevelopment staff who, uh, as far as I'm aware, have all been re, uh, re-employed, as it were, by the city. Uh, there's been no layoffs there. Other cities, such as Glendale, have laid off people. Uh, and, and listen, no one wants to lay off anybody, but given the need for extra offices, boots on the ground for things like park patrol and patrol our neighborhoods, uh, there's been an increase of robberies, or at least there seems to be. I, I know two people personally who've been robbed in the last few months. Um, is that something you'd be willing to support, maybe eliminating some of those former redevelopment positions in order to add additional police and, and fire safety personnel? That's a better question for the incumbents because they know where these people are. I don't. But I can assure you that on May 1st, when I get elected, that's a question that I am going to be asking because my priority, when we have burglaries on the rise, this is on Burbank Boulevard, windows being smashed. When we have the um, uh, nail salon get robbed, yes. uh, okay? Several. My priority is our safety. Again, public safety is on my platform. It's number one. And getting on to redevelopment again, it was touched on in the forums. Uh, I think, you know, the, the, you know, the general fund is owed about $51 million, mm-hmm. um, I think the figure Scavaletti shared. And I guess the states got that money. <laughs> We're trying to get it back because it was money that the general fund had loaned to redevelopment. And fortunately, it seems that it's, it may have been lost in the abyss. But will you fight to get that money back? I mean, this is money that's been loaned for things, as I understand it, such as the we crown the mall and, and other projects that, that we, the taxpayers, have, have just lost. Yeah. Um, that's a good question for the incumbents. And at the forum, one uh, council member did state that he made a mistake, that he should have aggressively been trying to get that money back. He said it publicly at the forum. I will work hard to get that money back to us. That's money that belongs to the taxpayers. Right. Um, we're not in, in, uh, in great fiscal budgetary times that we can afford not to fight it. That's why we have a city attorney and that's why we have paid executive staff members. I will make sure that I will give them that direction and hopefully my colleagues on May 1st will support me on that. <laughs>